Welcome to our channel. Today, we're taking you on a journey to one of Osaka's most iconic landmarks, the Amida Sky Building Floating Garden Observatory. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get there using a clear transportation guide, take you on a virtual tour, and share some helpful travel tips. So let's dive right in. To give you a better idea, let's take a look at this map. As you can see, the Amida Sky Building is situated near major transportation hubs, Umeda, and Osaka stations, making it easily accessible from all parts of Osaka. Getting to the Umeda Sky Building is both easy and complicated, which may sound contradictory, but let me explain it to you. If you've seen my previous video on the Japan Railway Network, you already know that Umeda is a major interchange for several railway lines operated by different companies. So if you're unsure about which line to take, you're bound to get lost in these two transportation hubs. Let's begin with Umeda Station. If you're in Osaka, you can hop on the Osaka Metro and get off at either Umeda Station M16 on the Maidasuji Line or Nishi. Umeda Station I-11 on the Yotsubashi Line. After that, head over to Osaka Station. It's a massive station for JR trains. As you can see on this map, all the lines are listed and trains arrive from various cities. If you're in Osaka, you can hop on the JR Osaka Loop Line and alight at Osaka Station. And if you're traveling to or from Kansai International Airport, you can catch the Haruka Line. Just check the line you need based on the city you're headed to. Now let's talk about these two stations where the names Osaka and Umida are combined. Although their names are identical, they are actually operated by different railway companies. The Osaka Umida Station, known as HS01, is located near Osaka Station and is operated by Hanshin Electric Railway, which runs between Kobe and Osaka. On the other hand, the other Osaka Umeda station, labeled as HK01, is operated by Hankyu Railway and serves three different lines, Kobe Line, Takarazuka Line, and Kyoto Line. Despite sharing the same station number, HK01, the lines are distinguished by different colors. From all these five stations, it's just a short walk to the observatory. Signs and directions are clearly marked, so you won't have any trouble finding your way. Now, you get why it can be both easy and complicated, right? You'll find this clear transportation map within the Umeda Sky Building transportation tile under the itinerary section of my travel plan. It's perfect for planning your trip or using it on the day you travel. I'll be sharing this detailed travel plan for free in the final video of my Japan trip. The Umeda Sky Building Floating Garden Observatory is an architectural marvel that offers a unique perspective on Osaka's skyline. It was designed by Hiroshi Hara and completed in 1993. Standing at a height of 173 meters, this iconic structure has become one of the city's most beloved landmarks. As you can see, the Umeda Sky Building features a unique design. It consists of two towers connected at the top by the Floating Garden Observatory. This observatory, situated on the 39th floor, offers an unobstructed 360-degree panoramic view of Osaka, showcasing its sprawling skyline and the majestic Yodo River. As we step inside, we're immediately greeted by a modern and sleek interior, showcasing the perfect blend of contemporary design and traditional Japanese aesthetics. It's a feast for the eyes. The observatory is divided into two main decks, the east wing and the west wing. Both offer different perspectives of Osaka, making it an ideal spot for photographers and tourists alike. And if you're feeling a bit adventurous, make sure not to miss the Stairway to Heaven. It's a unique architectural feature that connects the observatory's two wings with a floating escalator. Trust me, the experience is truly exhilarating. Inside, the Floating Garden Observatory, you'll find a range of facilities to enhance your experience. There's a charming cafe where you can relax and grab a bite to eat or sip on a refreshing beverage while taking in the breathtaking views. You can also visit the souvenir shop to pick up some mementos to remember your visit. One of the highlights of this observatory is the Lover's Sanctuary. It's a unique space where couples can attach padlocks with their names and messages to the railing, symbolizing their love and commitment. It's a romantic gesture and adds a touch of charm to this already remarkable place. Now, let's talk about some tourist information and travel tips for visiting the Omiya Sky Building. Firstly, entry to the Floating Garden Observatory of the Omiya Sky Building is free of charge before 4 p.m. For holders of the Osaka Amazing Pass, if you enter after 4 p.m. with the pass, you will receive a 30% discount. To learn more about saving money with the offers provided by the Osaka Amazing Pass, please watch my previous video on the end screen. Another tip is to check the weather forecast before your visit. Clear skies will provide the best views from the observatory. Unfortunately, 
Due to almost daily rainfall throughout our stay in Osaka, we had no option but to miss out on witnessing the breathtaking sunset from the Omida Sky Building Floating Garden Observatory. What a disappointment it is. The observatory may be closed during inclement weather or maintenance periods. It's always a good idea to check their official website for any updates before your visit. The Omida Sky Building Floating Garden Observatory is open daily from 9:30 a.m. to 10:30 p.m. with the last admission at 10 p.m. Consider visiting during the late afternoon to witness the magical transformation as the sun sets and the city lights up. The Omida Sky Building can get quite crowded, especially during peak tourist seasons. To avoid long queues, try to arrive early before dusk or consider visiting on weekdays. Trust me, the peaceful experience and unhindered views will be well worth it. And that brings us to the end of our virtual tour. If you're interested in knowing how to visit this awesome spot in Osaka without spending any money, I highly recommend checking out my previous video about the Osaka Amazing Pass. It's packed with useful tips on how to make the most of the pass and save some cash while traveling. If you found this video helpful or inspiring, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with our travels around the world. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you at the next exciting destination in Osaka. 